Hey everyone, how you doing today? Thought I'd take another look at the workshop on this glorious Friday and see what was out there. And again, some really, really cool creations here. So the very first one is the IAF Iron Bolt, and this is by Hootsman. And a uh, really cool look and design to the ship. Uh, very unique from uh, most ships that I've seen. Uh, this one kind of has this big... Uh, open kind of v pattern going all across the front of it for sure that's uh that's pretty interesting so it's kind of like you have this outer uh frame here and then you have your inner ship and then it attaches out in this section here some really aggressive uh angling going on here too i do like that it's nice and uh smooth on the edges here um also have this uh this cut in going across uh looks like most of the hull here of these texture lights and whatnot in the center, uh, or the the red, uh, which is that's a cool looking uh, straight pattern on here too. You know, because you also have kind of the uh, the red highlights in the uh, going across the center of the ship as well. Uh, kind of backed with uh, black and whites as well, so kind of a three color design approach here. I'm just kind of taking a look at this uh, center section here, too. That actually, I mean, it, uh, the way it's uh, shaped and everything, I think it does look really, really cool. Um, all the angles are really working well for it. And, uh, again, a pretty uh, interesting shape of a ship. Uh, like from the top view, too. It's, uh, I like how the uh, that center, uh, the center hull or the center main mass of the ship is connected to the... Uh, these, the I don't know what you would call that, the uh, rings or ridges or uh, big angled structure there. For some reason, it, uh, I know it, it's not like a Star Wars ship, but I, always, I, I just I look at it and I think Star Wars a little bit here too. Um, it just, uh, for some reason, kind of uh, comes out that way. Look at that big aggressive angle here on the back too. That uh, comes up from the hole and goes out quite a long ways there. And a uh, nice little thruster pad in there as well. And look at these big thruster housings over on this side here. Those look nice. I like the uh, I like the black in the inside here too. That kind of breaks it up nicely. Yeah, looks that looks cool. Yeah, look at the ship as a whole. Yeah, I don't know. That's that's just a, a cool looking design. Um, again, pretty unique. I haven't really seen anything that really quite looked like this. I've seen. Something else that reminded me a little bit of it, but I, I'm not, I could be mistaken on that because I, I, I think this does look really very, very unique to the, uh, uh, the average ship out there. Kind of curious uh, what, what's going on on the inside here too, but yeah, cool hull design. Um, nice use of uh, like the, uh, the, the black uh, strip here as well as the red stripes. Um, just giving that hull some more uh, more stuff to look at in there, which is uh, definitely cool. Also, a lot of turrets on here too. So I'm starting to think that this is going to be a uh, some form of combat-oriented ship, but it might might have multiple functions. Of course, uh, most ships actually do. So um, and we got some watchers out here too, and uh, yeah, another thruster area over here. Very very cool. Anyway, let's uh, let's get inside this and see what's uh, see what makes it tick here. I'm gonna do the uh, the light thing here a second, just to uh, see the inside of the ship with the uh, with the lighting that was uh, added in. And uh, oh yeah, very cool. Oh okay, I just want to make sure I had that off. Yeah, so the the hangar passes all the way through here too. Gets into a center section. Looks like we've got a. Uh, oxygen barrier in this location in case there's any breaches out there you'll uh, maintain your oxygen in the center section here nice a lot of space this is a big hangar actually so this takes up quite a bit of a uh, space here in the middle of the ship but it's a pretty big ship too so we have our uh, repair bay right out here and uh, looks like we got some cargo boxes on the sides in the back here I like how that's kind of set up too. It's kind of like a uh, if you're walking around a, a warehouse or something, kind of like uh, you know you got pallets on uh, multiple layers going up. Uh, nice use of these uh, these metal parts here to uh, create the frame framework for that. That that's pretty cool look. Definitely like that. You got an L 
elevator going up to uh, looks like the rest of the ship. Big glass window across the top here. Again, I'm liking the uh, the red texture lights in here as well. A lot of texturing done here too. The floor's got uh, some uh, neat looking like breakups in it, so it's not like just doing this particular uh, surface. It's got a lot of extra details going on, a lot of uh, decals. Um, nice place for a repair bay too. It looks like it'd be easy to get uh, a craft in here and then you could uh, fly right out to the other side or it looks like, uh, oh no, no, this, oh, check this out. So we have a lower ramp to get right in from the bottom side of the ship here too. It's a pretty cool look when you're standing out here. Just seeing like the, uh, uh, the whole mass of the ship kind of around you. Um, when you're coming in here, it almost looks like some kind of building. Uh, well, I don't know. I, I can't say I see many buildings that look like that, but it would be a really cool building if there was a building like that. Uh, yeah, very nice. Uh, checking out some intricacies here. A big glass floor going on there as well. So we got a uh, elevator, uh, looks like two elevators on the front side of the hangar and one in back. I guess so let's take the back one here a minute, see where we end up at. So we've got our main hangar, obviously, that we just we came in at. And shield generator, gravity generator, and hyperdrive. Hyperdrive, nice. Yeah, I kind of like uh, different words being used. That actually sounds pretty cool. So what we got going on here? Now we have offline protection. Uh, looks like our protection tanks over there. Some I see at least uh, one CPU block, uh, one by three generator in that section. Uh, there's all kinds of stuff going on here. There's the uh, there's the hyperdrive, <laughs> and our uh, and our uh, shield here as well. So yeah, very cool. Oh yeah, Look at that uh, nice LCD. I wonder if that actually uh, toggles all this stuff on or off. Probably not. Yeah, MSN messaging. <laughs> cool. Gravity's online. Generators. Uh, usage is normal. Repair bay is standing by. Hyperdrive is ready. Definitely. Uh, that's cool. That's cool. Again, it's got some red in here. A little bit different color lighting in this room. Oh, and look at the, uh, the, the floor lighting. I don't see those get used too often. Um, I'm not sure if I've actually ever used them on a creation myself. I ought to someday, though. Um, I never think about it. It's one of those things that just get used to using the lights that you use and don't experiment with some other uh, lighting uh, uh, means. So what we got going on here? All right. So living quarters and kitchen should be straight through here. Ooh, that'll freak you out if you're scared of heights. Big old glass floor there. That looks cool, though. I mean, I like how you can kind of see down there. Um, again, if you're scared of heights, it might, might make you a little bit nervous. But uh, this is some pretty strong glass. It's probably stronger than most of the blocks around here. Um, I'll have to see what kind of material this ship is made out of, too. Nice uh, kitchen display here. And the, uh, the use of the uh, tile floor actually works quite well for this. And then the plant and the, uh, all the places to eat. Very cool. Oh. I want to go down there yet. <laughs> I'm scared. So what's off to the side here? Oh, that's cool. Nice, uh, nice room. I like the uh, kind of uh, like the bookshelves uh, going across the top there. That's uh, that's pretty interesting. Kind of uh, that red uh, accent color again. And we got a different kind of flooring in here. All this this woodworking kind of floor. Very cool. Ah, you got to have the uh, the bathroom. Looks like uh, for more than one person, looks like more of a uh, crew bathroom. And this would be a kind of a crew area. You got some lockers over here as well. Let's see what's going on on the other side here. Looks like some more crew area and uh, more bathroom spaces. So, yeah, if people want to watch uh, different shows, uh, one group can come in here and the other uh, group can go in the other room and check out their uh, whatever show or movie or whatever they're watching. Very nice. And okay, let's go down this scary elevator over here. So I have a feeling I'm going to end up right back at the hangar. I think these are the elevator doors on the opposite side of the hangar. Yep, that is correct. So let's go back up here. Um, 
it doesn't look like there's any other uh, ways off the elevator until you get to the top. Let me backtrack a little bit here. Alright, so we're at the top here. Oh, no, we're not. Not even close. What do we got in this room here? Hydroponics, med bay, and armory. Ah, nice. So we got our uh, grow plots in place here. Nice. Nice room location for that. Oh, looks like we've got a uh, med bay. Very nice. So, yeah, so we got, uh, let's see, one specialized, uh, looks like, uh, yeah, all the specialized equipment's in here, plus um, your actual uh, medical device. A couple of uh, these pieces. These are kind of a cool-looking uh, deco piece, too. I do like those. Okay, that's the way I came in at. So let's go up the side over here. Now, this is quite a bit different on this side. So we've got our armor locker and armor repair. Looks like a uh, storage controller, uh, ammo box, uh, second armor repair, second armor locker, and a couple cabinets there. Very cool. So let's see. Do we have a backside off the elevator here? Nope. Let's go up another floor here a minute. Ah, so it looks like we're getting out to the uh, the bridge here. Very cool. So your uh, captain's seat. Uh, looks like we've got some passenger seats over on the sides over here. A lot of uh, computer terminals and things like that. We have our teleporter. Very, very nice. Oxygen and mid bay up in here as well. Wow, and that's not it. It goes up a little bit more. I do kind of like I like how the glass is done in the uh, the black ceiling with the the white uh, outer block. I think that's uh, that's a pretty cool design. And again, the whole ship is is very consistent with its coloring. Uh, so you got uh, you know your uh, red accent colors and uh, quite a few different places in the ship, and then blacks and then whites and then uh, some different flooring in different places and things like that. I am curious if I missed anything in the ship here. Let's see. Uh, uh, armory. So armory was on the one side over there. That makes a lot of sense. And our hydroponics were here. Um, this doesn't go off the back side of the elevator. Let's go up to the... Uh, this is back up to the bridge. And it looks like we've got a quick uh, entry door at the top side here. Which is really convenient. So that's very close to the bridge too. So if you're out shooting everything up and... Uh, uh, need to go out looting and then you get attacked you got a, a pretty quick way back into the uh, the ship to uh, uh, Take action and uh, do whatever you got to do Very cool very cool again. I really like the uh, the overall shape of this ship, too It's uh, it's a pretty cool shape design. Just trying to make sure I don't miss anything here um, Yeah, this was our crew section over here, which makes a lot of sense don't believe there was any doors besides the uh, the elevator going back down here to the hangar section and then uh, yeah it's pretty cool on the, uh, the the glass flooring on the hangar too it looks very very thick this way um, but it's actually like a double layer of glass and then you got the texture lights on the inside there too ah very very cool so let's see what kind of specs this thing is running here um, okay again vanilla creation uh, so it uh, fits within the tier 4 CPU with a quite a bit uh, left over to spare there. Uh, 21 hour and 55 minute build time. Uh, quite a barrage of uh, weapons on here. So we're running 14 retractable plasma turrets, 9 uh, pulse laser turrets. Well, you can see all this here. Let me scroll this down too. This was a, a suggestion in past videos to uh, take a little bit better look at the uh, the resource costs over here, which I, I definitely agree with. Um, Size class 12. Our speeds look pretty good too. We got 82 forward, 20 strafing, 36 down, 45 lift, and 50 reverse. Uh, 22 fuel tanks, 12 oxygen tanks in here. Nice. Uh, and yeah, CPU, I think we, got, we basically already looked at that already. No problem there with, with CPU whatsoever. Let's take a look at the storage in here. So we got a uh, ammunition box uh, for with 128k storage. Ah, everything's nicely labeled in here. Very cool. Constructor in at 208. Constructor out at 208. Uh, fridge in. Okay, so that would be just a fridge. We got a harvest controller on here too. 
Nice. So I bet you we have, uh, I'll have to check to see what kind of harvesting equipment we have. Uh, 104K for harvest. Uh, this is probably going to be a box here. Yep. Uh, armors. Yeah, it'll be a box. Fuel. Yeah, that's a box as well. Weapons. Blocks. See surplus miscellaneous a lot of uh, a lot of cargo in here um, looks like a lot of uh, smaller boxes uh, there's few uh, there's some controllers obviously um, but yeah very nicely organized and whatnot in here as well so just kinds of all kinds of different uh, places to put uh, different kinds of uh, gear and items oh, very cool. And yeah, it looks like a nice ship to uh, repair crafts on as well. Uh, moves around real good. Uh, has a lot of weaponry on it. I was curious, so I want to see what kind of uh, harvester it had on here. Um, drill turret. Okay, so we do have a, uh, a mining drill. So yeah, you can also do some uh, asteroid mining when you're out and about with this. So. Yeah, it kind of uh, takes care of a lot of stuff. A combat ship, uh, it's going to have uh, a shield, warp drive. Um, I'm sorry. Was that really called a warp drive? Oh, I'm flying right through the hole now. <laughs> uh, hold on, I'm just getting back in here a minute. It wasn't called a warp drive. I guess... Uh, uh, la, 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 la. There it is. It was called... It's driving me nuts now. A hyperdrive, yes. Yes, very cool. <laughs> anyway, yeah, very, very cool creation again. Uh, the IAF Iron Bolt by Hootsman. So next on the list here, now let me get the lights back on. We've got this uh, this big freighter going on here. And this is the uh, CF Renacotin by Fungus. And really cool ship again. Uh, so... It is deemed as a freighter, and it certainly looks like a, a freighter. Really loving the uh, the landing gear set up here. It looks uh, it looks sensible. It looks like it would uh, actually do the job. Um, we kind of kind of see like the uh, shocks in here and whatnot. Yeah, nice nice meaty looking uh, landing system on it. Um, also liking all the details and stuff on the side of the hull here. A lot of stuff going on here. So we're using some antennas in here with some piping. Um, actually, some of these little canister things too, to make that uh, set up there. I think what's uh, what's looking really cool here is these kind of like these overall uh, like body lines, and then you have uh, like an area in between it. You can kind of like see this row going across here, and then you got another row there, and then you've got all this uh, breakup uh, stuff on the side. But it doesn't do that across the entire hall. It keeps on switching it up into different formations of, uh, of really cool stuff here. Also, a lot of the pipes are painted a, uh, a different color uh, away from the, uh, the body color. There's some uh, basically some lighter shades and then this kind of like reddish orange shade over here. Even some, uh, some blue with texture lights going on there. Yeah, that's cool. Again, the landing gear, it, yeah. It, uh, it works for the ship, it really does. I mean, it looks like a pretty bulky ship um, to start with. And uh, yeah, it would need some, uh, some pretty intense landing gear to uh, keep this, uh, you know, landed. <laughs> I don't know. It, it, just, it just looks right is, is my whole point. <laughs> yeah. Don't mind my words. I, uh, I screw them up all the time. Uh, Let's take a look at the top side here and then get around to the back as well. So actually on the front here too, looks like we've got a lot of blast doors going back here. So I mentioned that. Uh, I can open up here. Oh yeah. Look at that. Big old section opens up. We got a lot of turrets right on the front here too. Well, that's cool. Neat place to put them like right, right up into the point. Uh, look at all the stuff going on on the top side of the ship here. Yeah, it definitely has that freighter look. Um, almost like maybe maybe some influences from like some of those like big uh, like oil tankers or something like that. Uh, with all the piping, almost looks like there would be a 
big uh, uh, tanks and, th and stuff stored in here. Oh, look at that. Yeah, these, uh, another deco part. Well, kind of a box, actually, but uh, used for that. that. That looks cool as well. I like all this, uh, these, like, uh, scaffolding, kind of like catwalks that are running across here, too. They actually have some railings in places, too. That's cool. That's cool. Kind of like walking through this whole section. It looks really dark. I'm sorry. Um, let's get a little better lighting going on here. Yeah, that looks cool. A lot of use of these uh, these metal framing pieces here, but again, for the uh, the kind of ship and the look it's uh, going for, that's uh, very very appropriate. Oh, and look at this uh, this big uh, like uh, I don't know, I imagine that's probably like the bridge area, but big wide uh, front window on there. Again, kind of uh, reminiscent of that of like a uh, freighter. Um, definitely checking out. Oh, interesting. That's uh, so. This is a way down in the ship from the top of it. I like how that mechanism's opening up there. Huh? Yeah, that's cool. It kind of left the uh, the uh, this part open actually, but that actually uh, adds a lot of detail there. Uh, I didn't know quite what I was looking at until it it opened up on me there. That's cool. We got on the top side here. What's this? Oh, that's a crane. Oh, that's so cool. Look at that. Yeah, nice looking crane. And again, I'm liking the, uh, the use of the uh, deco parts to uh, make it look like what actually lifts stuff up. And uh, the blocks that are used for like your rope or chain or whatnot. Kind of going across the top there. And then uh, a structure over here to uh, keep it very uh, solid. And then uh, a counterbalance over on this side. Which is, yeah, that's that's just, eh, it looks uh, functional. It looks like it would work. Very cool. A nice uh, landing pad over here on the side, too. Or uh, on the top, I should say, not really on the side. Wow. Yeah, look at the back of the ship. So we got some pretty beefy thrusters going on there as well. Backed up with these uh, blue texture lights kind of in their own little uh, places. With uh, some interesting look looking block work around that as well. And a lot more of this big metal scaffolding, kind of like a big support beam uh, lifting up the uh, the back portion of the uh, I don't know, uh, landing pad up there. Very cool. And I like the uh, I like the cleanness of the uh, the landing pad too, and this uh, the use of these uh, uh, boxes over here, or cargo boxes. That that looks that looks nice on the side. I like the decals going along the landing pad. Uh, looks like we've got a door right here in the middle. Oh, yeah, look at that. We've got some more of these uh, these doors that'll get you inside. And I almost want to take that, but I probably ought to come in this door. So anyway, let's so let's do the lighting thing. Let's get inside here and see what makes this tick. Wow. Very spacious as soon as you walk in through that door. Looks like right off the gates we got a teleporter and oxygen coming into this top section here. An O2. Oh yeah, this is the main bridge. So, considering the size of the of the ship, if you were to uh, land on the back there, it's a uh, it's pretty short walk actually to, to uh, get to the pilot seat, which is uh, very very convenient as well. So yeah, a lot of room over here. Looks like we got some uh, computers and uh, some workers and things like that going on. Um, oh, it's a door off the side back over here, and these would go back up to that landing pad that we just uh, were at a second ago. Let's go check out what's behind this door here. Oh, so we got some major uh, O2 and fuel storage in this section. Wow, yeah, there's a lot there. Hmm. That's a lot of fuel in hole too. We'll have to see how many uh, the, what the total counts are on that. And just curious on the other side if we got the same thing going on on this side. Yep. Okay. Ah, nice. All right. So we're down kind of in here. Here's our main core. Interesting. Kind of uh, yeah, tucked quite a ways back from the front for sure. Uh, head down this elevator, hit this floor here. 
Oh, that's looking really cool. So we've got kind of a, uh, a balcony over a uh, another room kind of below, and this looks like our uh, CPU core block uh, area. Um, which is interesting, too. Um, let me, uh, a little out of order, I just want to take a look at the CPU. So we're at, uh, yeah, so 10 million, so 300,000 over 10 million, that's not bad at all. I was just kind of curious, because I'm seeing a, a basic CPU core in here, but I'm also seeing, it looks like the uh, four advanced CPU cores, plus, huh, so this actually has Reforged Eden cores in it, it looks like. I'd be mistaken. For some reason, I thought this was a, uh, a vanilla creation here. Yeah, it is. It is listed as vanilla. Okay, uh, it works in vanilla. It, uh, it fits in the CPU really close. I was just kind of I was looking at the CPU core blocks, and I was just kind of wondering why it had the uh, like the uh, the small basic one in there uh, for a uh, vanilla build. But it's working too, and that is also kind of uh, freaking me out. I thought uh, it would screw up the CPU if you had that installed um, in vanilla, but maybe uh, maybe it doesn't anymore. Maybe it just sees the uh, the four advanced cores to to bring it to the 10 million CPU. Anyway, let's uh, oh, catwalk over uh, some other big room over here. Looks like we got a, like a gravity generator down there. Looks like uh, yeah, this this part over here is also asymmetrical. That's cool. Wow. So let's see what's in here. Oh, that's an elevator again going down. So we got an elevator there, but not on this side. Wow, I'm going to get lost in the ship. Just warning you. Okay, so we're back here. I didn't even notice the uh, the shower when you come into the... Uh, not, this would go back up to the landing pad. No, actually, this is a different location. This is actually on the side of the ship. So I didn't see that before. Nice. So this is, yeah, a little different room there. Let's go down to this floor. Looks like a definite crew area here. Very cool. And shower and uh, toilet there. TV, a uh, place to uh, chill and eat. Looks like kind of a, uh, your sink and your food processors and fridges out on this side. Again, a little asymmetrical in there, which I definitely like. And uh, this is kind of the lower floor. We came across that catwalk there. We have gravity generator over on this side. And let's see, this gets, gets back into that crew section there. And uh, oh, it looks like we got a medical bay over here. I like how that looks. Oh, look at the ceiling. It's all uh, it's a bright ceiling on here. So we've got uh, that piece, and it looks like uh, all our specialized me medical equipment. And another door and another elevator. And that gets us... Uh, no, I don't think we... Oh, yeah, this is across the, uh, the catwalk that we uh, went on. Just looking at this uh, generator uh, section over here. It's a pretty uh, cool display of all these uh, generators there with the, uh, the glass in front of them. Definitely like that. And some uh, some framework pieces in there as well. Let's go back down over here. Okay, that was our medical bay. We have checked that out already, I think. Yes. Let's get back into, okay, we've been in there. That's our crew section. Let's get back into this uh, main elevator here again. Um, let's go down to this floor. Did I miss a floor down? Nope. Oh, ah, production. Very cool. So it looks like, yeah, we got a whole bunch of uh, storage controllers going along the sides here. Uh, advanced constructors over here. Uh, looks like a place for, uh, let's see, AC, advanced constructor. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, small constructors here. It's probably a CPU thing on why uh, some of these weren't put in there. Um, so, uh, LC large constructor. Let's take a look at one of these. There's a 320 there, so it looks like we got a lot of storage as well. Very nice. So that kind of goes all the way up to the front of this room here, and then we got a bunch of uh, cargo boxes across there. Doesn't look like it uh, carries on any more forward on the ship. 
I wouldn't doubt that this might be some kind of power switch for production. Let's see how that's uh grow lights. Really? Oh yeah, I didn't even notice that. Yeah, there is grow lights here. So this is all uh, places to add in a farm section here. So uh, you'd have to remove these blocks and add in your grow plots, which is great. But yeah, that's cool. So uh, yeah, grow. Uh, it's got a farm kind of right in the uh, production area, which is honestly kind of a neat little setup. Um, well, I wouldn't say little, but uh, it's convenient. I mean, everything is kind of like right here. You can, uh, you know, you could be crafting stuff, and it's like, ah, let's get that. Uh, let's let's pick all the vegetables. Uh, while we're waiting for something to craft and it's like right next to it so you don't have to like traipse across the ship to some other location for the farming i do like that i kind of like the uh the con the uh, convenience of having it all together like that and the other utility function of course too you got some old two and then your armor repair and uh whatnot over here very cool so we came down i believe the elevator so let's go well no it's another elevator but this goes ah to a uh, hangar over here. Oh, very cool. With some uh, with some side rooms here too. It's dark in here. It's like some fuel. And uh, yeah, some of those. That looks pretty cool. Wow, getting all over the place. Oh, looks like we got some upgrade uh, option places as well. Um, hmm, that's cool. I'm not exactly sure what, uh, part was intended to go there at this, at this time. I'm just trying to think on, uh, something that would be that size. Obviously, you could fit constructors, deconstructors, gravity generators, offline protection, a lot of that stuff. Uh, um, I guess technically you could fit big, uh, big advanced generators in there too that would be six blocks uh, they would kind of hang over the uh, the edge of this but they you could fit that in there too but uh, definitely looks like an upgrade slot and uh, looks like yeah it doesn't go go anywhere from there so let me backtrack a little bit here there we go back in the lighting just uh, go to the other side. Okay, it looks like we're probably going to be about the same on that side. And uh, looks like, wow, that's a, a big, big, uh, big space over here. Looks like you could, uh, if you wanted to add a bunch of, uh, bunch of parts that, that fit in this area, like fuel tanks or oxygen tanks or something like that, you could definitely got a lot of room for that yeah again so um, just trying to figure out if I missed anything more on this ship here yeah I'll try to head towards the front of the ship and see if there's a, a way to uh, proceed past this point here and there is our shield was I in this room before I don't believe so there's our warp core. So no, this is a new room here. Nice. I like the way the uh, warp core is displayed. Okay, so that's right below the CPU, the uh, CPU block. So I was above there already. I just wasn't down in this section. That's of course, you know, you got your warp core and you got your shield in here. Um, not seeing any doorways moving towards the front of the ship. So maybe. That's it. I'm kind of flying through the floor. So now we're into production. Okay, not seeing any doorways going that way. And we've got that big open room here. Okay. Okay. Very cool. Let me, uh, let me get the lights back on here. We'll take a look at its specs here. I'm just curious. So, well, oh, wait, wait a minute. There is a big chunk of the ship I didn't go into. Um, let's hop in through here. Oh yeah, great big old hangar on the front here. My bad. I got to figure out how this connects to the uh, the rest of the ship. I'm seeing some ladders going up to these uh, like top landing pads, which is really cool as well. So yeah, quite a quite a good size hangar in this section. Now, obviously, we've seen the hangar 
in the back of the ship as well. But this goes to another room here. Oh, nice. So we got some guards. Uh, looks like some uh, ways up the elevator here. Oh, maybe that's the other side of that big room that we uh, seen before. Oh, I missed this. So when we were in um, the crafting section, there was doors going forward, and I just I missed it. Um, and that actually gets you to the uh, the whole front section of the ship. Okay, that makes a lot of sense now. And uh, yeah, we've been in here already, haven't we? This looks familiar. Yeah, yeah, we have been. Uh, I got a little lost. I think. I, I think that is a problem. I was uh, just a little bit uh, lost. So, obviously, a lot of hangar space on this ship as well. So, very cool. Very cool. All right. So again, specs here. Let's see what makes you tick. Uh, to start with um, size class uh, 21, unlock level 25. Uh, 64 MS forward, uh, 32 strafing, 90 lift, uh, 73 down, and 45 reverse. Uh, 31 hour and 12 minute build time. Quite a barrage of uh, weaponry and whatnot on here. Um, not necessarily, oh no, there is a multi-turret on here as well. So, expect to probably see a harvest box as well. It's going to use a decent amount of uh, estrium and zecosium, but any big ship like this using uh, big thrusters and weapons is is going to do that. So um, that is kind of a uh, assumed. Um, at CPU, we, we briefly looked at it before, uh, 10 million, uh, 300,000 CPU. So it's a little bit over the CPU. Um, I don't, but uh, I don't think it's really going to affect... Um, the overall efficiency level much at all it's not really telling me because I'm in creative here but you know worst case scenario it could maybe hit 99% or something like that but I don't uh, it's probably just gonna uh, be a hundred percent regardless um, you know when you start with 10 uh, 10 million that's really not that much over um, but really cool styling on this ship as well um, definitely love that whole crane uh, set up and the uh, the it definitely has that freighter look to it um, Really cool plus you can add in grow plots. You've got a lot of hangar space. You've got some uh, You've got quite a few uh, weapons uh, Turrets especially on the front side for attacking things. I'm not seeing a lot of turrets in other locations But maybe there's uh, there's probably some hidden ones that I'm not seeing like over here um, Let's get those out a second Okay, yeah, that is a regular turret. So we got some flak turrets over there. Um, and obviously we had a, uh, a multi-turret as well. All right, so let's take a look at the storage here. So it looks like we got three ammo bays, uh, appearing to be all 320s. Uh, constructor in at 320, constructor out at 320. Epic guns, you got to have epic guns, probably a box, yep. Uh, freight. Oh, okay. So the freight ones are 320s. It looks like. So we got seven, uh, seven freight. Uh, we got three harvest on here too. Oh, those are also 320s. Fridge fuel old two. That's another 320. Ingots. Yeah. Quite a lot of storage. A lot of uh, a lot of 320k uh, storage controllers on here, um, for at least uh, three uh, armor. That's probably a box. Yeah, that makes sense. So yeah, we got three, five, plus another eight. So we're at 13. Uh, fuel two. I believe that was one. That 14, 15, 16, 17, uh, 18. Um, yeah, some of these other ones are too. Trade goods is also another 320, so that would be uh, 19. I went doubt there's the, the, there's more in here, so I would say 19 plus uh, 320k storage on here, um, and more boxes to boot. So again, very very cool. So again, this is the uh, Rankaden uh, Super Freighter or CF Rank uh, Rankaden by fungus.
very cool looking ship uh unique i like its stance i like uh it's got a lot of function on there it's like a whole mobile uh city hangar base uh freighter uh very cool very cool so the next creation here is this uh this little guy over here this is the uh, aquila rc and this is by uh friend it i uh, i'm having a hard time saying the author's name it's f-r-e-n E-T-I-K. Uh, Frenick. Frentick. Uh, anyway, very cool looking uh, SV. I, yeah, I see this in the uh, the spotlight, and I was like, oh, that's uh, got a really slick design to it. It's, uh, it's a pretty small craft. Um, loving the, uh, the coloring on it. Um, it's kind of uh, doing this mostly gray here, and then I've got a couple stripes. Uh, but really smooth, cool looking like wing setup and uh just a unusual shape all, all together kind of like a diamond shape a little bit from the top but except for the front section there um nice looking cockpit i'm loving this uh this section here off to the side here too this uh the use of this th uh, thin thin block and the uh the, the thin curved block that definitely looks pretty cool there it looks like some intakes i got a single gatling gun on the front and a couple uh just to make sure I'm uh, plasma cannons there. Very cool. Wow. Yeah. And yeah, I like the uh, the landing gear stance there too. Let me get the lights on on the bottom side here. Let's take a look at that. So our stripes also go across the bottom. Yeah, but this is a uh, this is a little little craft. Uh, three guns on it. Uh, looks like it's going to be a nice uh, transportation slash you uh, can shoot some stuff down. I don't I don't think it would really have room for uh, big parts, uh, especially like a warp drive. It's possible it has room for a shield in here, but I'm not sure. I guess we'll take a look at the specs here in a sec. But uh, anyway, yeah, it's very cool. Very cool looking creation. Uh, nice, uh, nice and smooth. I like the uh, the coloring. And then uh, other little details like this kind of white stripe going along, um, like most of the uh, the wings all the way across the uh, uh, the whole rear hull of the ship. Very cool. So what do we got here? So we've got some uh, signal options as well. Eco. Uh, I imagine that would be a fuel conservation, uh, landing lights, and spotlight front. Okay. So anyway, uh, we are looking at a size class one on lock level 17 creation. Uh, looks like a 50 MS forward lift, 39 strafing, 23, I, I'm sorry, what did I say forward lift? Uh, 39 strafing, 23 lift, 24 reverse, 16 down. Uh, one RCS in here as well. Imagine this would uh, fly pretty nicely. Hour and 12 minute uh, build time, and it does look like it's going to use a little bit of uh, Estrium and Zacosium and Neo, probably because of the weaponry on here. Um, I am curious about other features, though. Did this, I don't think this has a shield. Let's, um, no, let's take a look over here. And yeah, I don't think we could. Oh, the taxi yeah, ass. I want one, one, have a shield. I, I want not know where you, where you would put it anyway on a ship this size. Um, CPU wise, it looks like it, uh, it's going to fit into a uh, lower tier. I believe it goes to a hundred thousand. So I'm guessing this would be a tier three CPU craft. Um, uh, using 30,000 if I got that right in vanilla. I haven't built anything just specifically for vanilla in quite a while actually so I'm a little bit rusty on the uh, the vanilla specs but I believe 40,000 was tier 3 and then it goes to 100,000 for tier 4. Um, so tier 3 craft here. Yeah, again very cool. Nice, uh, nice little uh, fighter. Uh, very stylish looking. Um, pretty good uh, speeds and motions and everything too. Steel hull, you know, that's something I wanted to look at on this ship, too. This one had a lot of weaponry on it. Okay, so we're looking like we're hardened steel on this ship. And let's, uh, the first one here, we're also hardened steel. Unless we get uh, hull fluctuations here. Let me check out this 
that call. It looks like uh, pretty pretty solid on hard steel. Uh, sorry, I wasn't thinking about that when I uh, first looked at the old ships. So, all right, next creation over here is uh, this is the UCH Storm MK3 R6 by Eurelia. Um, oh, this looks cool. Get the HUD back off here. That looks cool. It's um, it kind of has that helicopter look to it, but it's not trying to be a helicopter. And I think that's even cooler. I mean, because it's got like the tail section that you'd see on a helicopter. And that looks really nice, by the way, too. I like that a lot. I love the block works and the uh, the color changes on there. And we actually got some wing parts topped by some deco pieces to kind of curve those wings in and add those uh, red stripes there. But thin block uh, wings on the bottom side there. A couple thrusters in the middle. That's cool. Cool looking tail. This part's uh, looking really cool too. I'm a little curious what's going on right here though. Kind of looks like those pieces are supposed to be um, on the actual craft there, but maybe not. Maybe maybe those are like drones or something that flies uh, alongside of it. So it definitely looks like it's its own creation here. Like the uh, the subtle uh, curve to um, going across the top there, very detailed. A pair of Gatling guns, some uh, some rocket launchers here on the sides, as well. That's cool. That's a, it's a nice, very nice looking ship. Definitely like that. Like the uh, like the approach on it. Um, general design ideas here. Interesting too. I was uh, I was almost expecting to see some kind of connecting connecting arm here, but uh, no, those are kind of like uh, left that way to uh, look like a separate craft. And maybe the author did that because they just didn't want to have uh, you know these visible uh, reverse thrusters on the front of it, which probably wouldn't look right with uh, especially a helicopter. Um, that's nice, that's nice. Let's, uh, let's go inside here. Oh, looks like we got a lot of function in here too. So we got our, uh, our main cargo, looks like uh, 2000. Um, there's a switch there to figure out what that's for. We got a constructor, O2, it looks like another uh, controller on this side. 1500 for ammo. A couple cargo boxes across the top. Yeah, I like the uh, the uh, different color on the inside as well. So you got kind of a, a highlight of uh, you know you the blue on the outside and then kind of uh, orange on the inside here. And uh, that's a cool looking cockpit too. I like the uh, use of the LCD uh, right up front there. Let's see, yeah, and the uh, visibility is quite nice too actually. So. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah, right to the point. I mean, it's a, it's a small craft. It actually has like a like a hardwood floor inside of here, uh, or or maybe a lam probably a laminate. But yeah, it looks nice. It kind of goes with the uh, the orange and the white walls. Let's see what this switch does here. I heard something. Oh, that's the lights. There we go. Nice. So switchable interior lights, and then our main core is right up there. And it looks like we've got uh, uh, some fuel right on the sides there. That uh, that is fuel, right? Yeah, yeah, that is fuel. Very cool. CPU core block over here. Uh, ventilator on the top. Very nice. So what? What's going on with you here? So we've got, oh wow, we're, we're a low, low tier. Looks like a tier two uh, creation um, on CPU wise. So size class one, unlock level 12. Uh, 57 minute, 49 second build time. Doesn't look like it requires any Zacosium or Arrestrium. Got a little bit of Neo, a little Cobalt. Uh, nothing, nothing too special there. Um, 48 MS4, 12 strafing, 32 lift, 16 down, and 16 reverse. Very nice. Yeah, definitely like this. I mean, it's a yeah, it's a cool looking uh, cool looking craft. I love the helicopter look on it. Um, 
it's just uh, nicely done I like the uh, the color fluctuations here between the white the dark the blue and then uh, the uh, alternative interior colors uh, versus the exterior which is a nice touch too and just adds a little bit more to look at you know when you're looking at a ship um, yeah very very cool and we also got some spotlights there just want to see if there's any other P uh, oh yeah quite a lot of P menu options here so you can even uh, uh, man you can mess with a lot of stuff turn off the constructor fridge flares front light that would be uh, in your spotlight I'm sure um, you can turn off the RCS if you want very cool, very cool. Again, this is the uh, UCH Storm MK3 R6 by Eurelia. Very nice, very nice. Cool looking uh, ship here. So next one is another little SB. And this is the one that I, I made a video the other day. And I was just talking about screenshots and stuff like this. And this is actually the ship that I was kind of showing and this comes in uh, several different colors too. This is the red version, but there, I believe there's a green and a orange and a blue version as well. Um, but I wanted to check this out. I thought it was kind of a, kind of a slick looking design here. And uh, this is, uh, uh, it's listed as Rockport Industries Glacius Red MK1 by Fluxer. And uh, yeah, cool looking ship. Definitely. Just kind of checking out everything on here. So it looks like we got some pretty decent thrust going on. Uh, yeah, I like the uh, the use of the uh, the wing parts here and the uh, interesting uh, rear wing shape. And then you've got also a different uh, kind of front wing ship again or shape with uh, these other wing parts in the in the mix there. And it's got some uh, some green. That's interesting. Some uh, these pieces are just kind of uh, in green for uh, just to break things up. Uh, looks like a pair of Gatling guns and a pair of rocket launchers. Uh, spotlight on the front. I got a couple uh, open doors that open up. Oh, okay. So we got a, uh, a controller over here. Looks like uh, 500 uh, in that particular controller. Uh, no, it probably opens up the same one on the side. Nice. I okay, got some uh, some cost and decals on here as well. Yeah, nice shaping though. I mean, it's a yeah, good, uh, cool looking ship there. Uh, a lot of uh, using a lot of different wing parts, but uh, yeah, just an interesting shape um, all the way around here. Huh. Let's take a look at some specs here on you. So let's see, to start with, we're size class one again, unlock level 12, hour and 34 minute build time. Uh, just touches a little bit of estrium and zacosium, uh, but only eight each. Other than that, uh, neo and cobalt would be your, your rarest. Uh, so we've got uh, 29 MS4, 20 strafing, 38 MS lift, uh, 19 back, nine down. Um, seven RCS in here, eight fuel tanks. Uh, CPU wise, looks like we are a tier three at 40,000. Uh, fits nicely in there. Uh, I would say the, uh, the uh, you know, I didn't, never even thought about that. It's telling you hull blocks here. I never even really thought about that, but I could get a better idea of the um, construction material actually looking at the CPU screen. Never actually noticed that for some reason. Sometimes I just blind all these stats all over the place, but that's cool. So a hard steel construction um, does have some steel blocks on it, but it's definitely uh, most of it is all hardened steel there. Um, that's cool. That's cool. I'm just seeing what else we got on here. We have a Pentaxa tank, so I'm expecting probably a shield on here as well. I wonder if that'll tell me this way. Um, so I fly inside it real quick here. Oh, we got a warp drive. Wow. I didn't expect that. Warp drives are pretty big, and the ship isn't that terribly big, but it does it does fit in and conceal a warp drive. It looks like we also have a constructor in there. Um, hmm. Very cool. Very cool. But do you have a shield?
not sure. Uh, let me look at the P menu devices here. And I see warp. Not seeing a shield. Okay, so it looks like it definitely has warp drive, and that's what the um, Pentax attack is for. But I, man, I don't, I don't want to say it for sure because I could be mistaken yet. Just want to fly in the body a little bit more here. There's our warp drive. If there was a shield, where would you, where would you put it? Oh, wait a minute. We got some, uh, some access doors at the bottom here. Oh, I see what's going on here. So we have our warp drive, and we have some access to some of these interior parts from the bottom of the ship. And, uh, oh yeah, armor locker there, too. Man, it's even got O2 in here. Really? Oh, that's that's kind of neat. So you could kind of come up from the bottom, kind of uh, put your uh, head up in here, and uh, you'd also have uh, oxygen. But I, I was thinking that this area here could fit in a shield. Um, let's see that one, one block, two block, now two and a half block. If it was uh, three blocks, it could actually fit that in, or maybe that's supposed to go over here. I don't know. Interesting uh, setup, though. Definitely interesting. Um, yeah, again, nice, uh, nice creation here. This is uh, uh, what's well, listed as Rockport Industries uh, Glacius Red MK1 by Fluxer. Again, really cool. I noticed this off new releases um, and some different colors of it, and uh, I thought I would uh, definitely check it out. So the last creation today here is this little guy. This is another one I noticed in new releases. I just thought just look nice. And this is the uh, UNSC War Warthog, oh, War Warhog uh, by uh, Soul Eater Blaze. And uh, yeah, this looks really cool. This looks really cool. I did play some Halo before, um, especially the earlier ha Halos um, on the good old Xbox there. And uh, yeah, that was. Uh, I always like the uh, look of the of this uh, vehicle, um, and this, this is a nice uh, nice interpretation of it. Um, I love that uh, that kind of uh, turret on the back there with the cargo boxes and the way that the uh, the frame goes around the uh, the wheels here. It even looks like it has like a uh, a winch on the front. I gotta see the bottom here. I oh look at that. Oh, so yeah, there's your uh, ho hover bus or <laughs> hover busters, uh, ho hover uh, boosters. Oh, look at the the uh, the framework going down there too. That's that's neat. That's neat. It's got a lot of depth to it. Um, looks like the top and bottom of it are all all nice. Well, imagine how cool it would be if we actually had wheels and you could like put in suspension and it actually worked in game. That would be amazing. I think I'd want to build a bunch of vehicles for a while. <laughs> I like this uh, this cockpit here too on, on the one side. So then it's got this uh, spotlight here in the middle. Interesting. Our main core is right there. Do we have a passenger seat? Yeah, a passenger seat on the other side. Another cargo box here, a fridge. Um, looks like O2 right there as well. Some more cargo boxes. Yeah, no, that's that is cool some different colors on there I got some uh, some backup lights there yeah I definitely like that that's neat and I like the, uh, the got the lights for the headlights right there as well that's neat nice looking uh, nice looking uh, design here it's not it's not terribly big either it doesn't look like it's gonna be too expensive let's, uh, let's take a look at some specs here on this one so uh, to start with, unlock level four. Uh, oh, unlock level is five. Size class one. Oh, look at this. Impressed. Impressed here by the uh, the, the resource cost. Fourteen minute, two second build time. Requires really nothing special whatsoever except uh, ten titanium rods. Does have a detector on here as well. Multi turret. Uh, let's see. Let's take a look at its uh, storage here. So we got a cargo box, quite a few cargo boxes, and we have a ammo controller at 125. 
and five cargo boxes and a fridge on there. And uh, speaking of that CPU stat, let me take a look at that. Wow, look at this. It has a lot of it's a, it's a it's a tier one, and it's using a little less than half of that on CPUs. So you could certainly add some more stuff to this too, um, and without like upping its uh, CPU tier level and the expenses related with doing that. Very cool, very cool creation. Come to think of it, there's one thing I, I also want to check out, take a look at the storage on this guy over here too, the Gladius Red. So we've got a container controller, looks like, uh, oh, 2,500, 2,000. So we got uh, three different uh, container controllers, one at uh, 500, two at, uh, one at 2,500, one at 2,000. We got an ammo controller at 125 and a second ammo controller at another 125 in a fridge. Okay, I don't believe I uh, showed that stat there. Let me uh, do the same same for uh, this guy over here too. Um, so let's get over to the, uh, the storm. So oh, it actually tells you too. I didn't look at this. So we got 2,000 in our main cargo, 1,500 on ammo two uh, cargo boxes in the fridge. Nice. Wow. Yeah, anyway, some uh, some really cool stuff. I just wanted to kind of like look at some of these uh, smaller creations here. I got a couple big ones, obviously, but um, yeah, uh, look at some of these uh, SVs and HVs. Um, a, lot of, a lot of really cool looking designs here. Definitely. I like, like all of these guys and then our uh, two big ships over here. Both uh, have their own style and unique looks to them. Uh, completely uh, different thinking and approach to uh, shipbuilding, and uh, just really, really cool. This one, uh, really crazy looking design on it. Love it though. It's a neat, neat looking uh, setup here. Great looking freighter uh, type of ship, um, but does all kinds of stuff. And then a bunch of little guys over there. Anyway, that's all I've got for this week. Now, on my plans today, I plan on releasing uh, the ship that I've been working on for a little while today, um, probably in a couple, two, three hours from when I uh, record this video. So probably probably closer to 5 or 6 o'clock uh, Eastern Standard Time. I'll try to get that to the workshop. I actually took a bunch of screenshots. I finished up some things. I made quite a few modifications and changes to it. Um, I don't have it ready to show, and I'm in vanilla, and it's for Re Reforged Eden, so... I'll, uh, I'll just get it to the workshop and you can check it out. I, uh, I took an account for uh, some other things too. It, 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 the ship actually has another upgrade slot in it that it didn't have the last time I showed it. And it actually allows you to put in a, a great big uh, 2x2x6 advanced generator in uh, another location if, um, if you ever have power problems with the one fusion reactor in it. Um, so hopefully that'll help. But anyway... That's all I've got for today, and you guys have yourself a great weekend, and I will talk to you later.